from Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. What the hell is going on here? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. Did you watch the final presidential debate last night? You heard about Joe the Plumber? I've got news about Joe the Plumber, who's a real person. This is... It's going to blow you away. Art, have you heard any news about Joe the Plumber? (laughs) Joe the Plumber. It was a topic of conversation in the big debate last night. Here's the story. Republican John McCain said today that Joe the Plumber, whose questions about Democrat Barack Obama's tax policy became a centerpiece of the final presidential debate, was the real winner of the televised forum. Joe the Plumber was the real winner. <laughs> yes. What John McCain wasn't counting on was that some people did a little digging on Joe the Plumber. <laughs> this is too freaking good. <laughs> it's too freaking good. His name is Joe Wurzelbacher. He's 34 years old from Holland, Ohio. And he was cited by McCain in the debate as an example of someone who wants to buy a plumbing business but would be hurt by Barack Obama's tax plans. But get this. You <laughs> what a maroon. Did McCain just fall off the turnip truck? If you're going to use this guy and he's a real person... You know, is this the same vetting process they use on Sarah Palin? Come on. Come on. Don't you check this stuff before you use it? Come on. I got the real story on Joe the Plumber. (laughs) This is the real story. The county Wurzelbacher and his current employer live in, Lucas County, requires plumbers to have licenses. And neither Wurzelbacher nor his employer are licensed there. (laughs) So they're breaking the law. This according to Cheryl Schimming of Lucas County Building Regulations, which handles plumber licenses in parts of the county outside Toledo, Ohio. Says here, get this. Wurzelbacher also owes the state of Ohio around $1,200 in back income taxes. This is according to Bloomberg News. Records on file with the Lucas County Court of Common Pleas show that the state had filed a tax lien against someone named Samuel Joseph Wurzelbacher, and that's Joe's full legal name. Everybody's heading to Zaba search right now. And... Um, Let's see, the uh, tax lien against uh, Joe the Plumber is $1,182.98. It was filed on January 26, 2007. That's a year and a half ago. And it still remains in effect. It says here, by, by the way, here's another thing. Was this guy a plant? Was this some kind of a dirty trick or a tactic by the Republicans? Get this says here, despite portraying himself at some media accounts as an independent or undecided voter, it appears that Joe the Plumber is a longtime registered Republican. I mean, they just went out and they did due diligence and they found out all the stuff about Joe the Plumber. This is so great. It says here that Wurzelbacher's hometown newspaper, the Toledo Blade, the Toledo Blade, Does Dean know about this paper? <laughs> he was saying, all right, do it down the hall, just as I was about to say it. It's Toronto Blade. I'm sorry, the Toledo Blade. All right, now the, uh, the, the Toledo Blade, which is uh, Joe the Plumber's hometown newspaper, said that Lucas County Board of Elections records show he's been on the voter rolls since 1992 and is a registered Republican. He most recently voted. <laughs> this is so great. He most recently voted in Ohio's March 2008 GOP primary. Joe, the uh, independent uh, plumber, the independent unlicensed tax cheat plumber. <laughs> 
Oh, God, this is great. Ironically, Democratic vice presidential candidate Joe Biden began his day today on the morning network news programs questioning whether Joe the plumber was real. This is what Biden said. Biden said, John continues to cling to the notion of this guy, Joe the plumber. I don't have any Joe the plumbers in my neighborhood that make $250,000 a year. <laughs> Dean wonders if Joe is on time and smells good as well. <laughs> Says here, it seems Biden was right. CNN reported today that Joe the plumber acknowledged he makes a lot less than $250,000, so therefore the Obama tax plan would not even affect him. There it is. Joe the plumber. A total fraud. <laughs> McCain is toast. He's toast. He's toast. How desperate were they? To throw this ringer in there and use him and not vet the guy. Come on! Remember we were saying there were going to be some dirty tricks by McCain the last few weeks? There it is! Joe the Plumber! Joe the Plumber who was asking Barack Obama about the American dream. Joe the registered Republican who owes back taxes and he's a plumber. He's an unlicensed plumber! <laughs> oh, Baby, it's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. 1-800-5800-866. Let's say hello here to uh, Amber on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Tom. How are you today? Doing great, Amber. And first of all, I just want to tell you that I listen to your show all the time. I'm 23, I'm single, and I think you're great. I think you're creating men out here for us. Wow. I well, it. somebody's got to do it. And I also think all the women that call are just haters. <laughs> and they just, they don't like hearing the truth. I think you're right about that. Yeah. Well, anyways, on to the subject at hand. Um, I think the only way that McCain's going to win is because people don't vote, you know, especially black people, unfortunately. And I am half black and half white, just FYI. Um, yeah. Uh, uh huh. Uh, I also think um, about two callers ago, he was talking about he doesn't think that it has anything to do with racism, like the Obama thing, like people voting for Obama or not voting for Obama. And um, I think it's easy to say that racism doesn't exist when you've never experienced racism. Like, obviously, you know, he sounded like he was the guy that was talking about he's a financial consultant and he believes in McCain's tax breaks and all that stuff. And that's great if rich you know you're right and if you're two percent of the society but i think in real life no, it's not, by the way by the way Amber, it's not even two percent of society it's uh, uh less than one percent oh we'll see see i'm making them look good so uh yeah i just i think it's ridiculous like i don't think people listen to what they say it's like they just it's word vomit and then it's like it's too late to stop it it's just uncontrollable by the, by the way, what do you think about the Joe the Plumber story? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Add insult to injury. and uh, Joe Jim. the Plumber turned out to be a McCain dirty trick. <laughs> and then um, them saying that uh, picking Biden was the better idea. Maybe um, Sarah should take some advice as he um, didn't run for the presidency because he was giving his child a normal college education. Maybe she should... Um, Take heed to that. Well, yes. Uh, but, but again, um, you know, picking Hillary Clinton, uh, if Hillary Clinton's name was not Hillary Clinton, her husband was not one William Jefferson Clinton, and didn't have a previous history of living in the White House, I agree. I think she might have been the more qualified of the two. And she's a but, liar. But, Don't we, isn't that what it's all about? I mean, she lied to us and said, yeah, I was, I was in Iraq. I was feet from the action. No, you weren't, honey. But it's okay. Because that's what we need, is good liars. We believed you when you said it, honey. <laughs> believed it. I think, uh, I have no doubt that uh, Joe Biden was a better choice than Hillary Clinton uh, for Barack Obama. No, I, I, I agree with you also. But I think that, you know, more power to Hillary. Like, I think she's a good woman. And I think um, if I could handle what she had handled, I think more women need to be like that and stand by your man. Yeah, well, you know what, though? Most women don't see that as a strength. See, 
but I do. Like, I'm all about standing by my man. And I don't even have one. I have a friend boy. We're very casual. He a does what he friend wants. boy? What I have. That's what I call it. He's my really? friend boy. <laughs> Is his name Dino? What? Is his name Dino? No. Did they write about him in the Toledo Blade? No. Just checking. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, but actually, I tell people to um, listen to your show because I think um, we need more women that uh, are calm like its listeners and like get these crazy women off the freaking radio. Like, oh, I'm a good woman. And th- no, you're not because you don't even have a job because you're calling and you don't have anything to do. And you just want to talk to me for a half an hour. Just feel like it's like get a life. Not- Amber, I agree with you. Get a life. Truer words were never spoken. Tom, Tom, Tom. Like it. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. It's the Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. Did you notice how we have short lease commercial breaks? I'm, I'm not making that up. It's not hyperbole. I, I want you to take a stopwatch of time. We used to have breaks that were six, seven minutes long. Those days are over. They get back to the show faster at one 800 800 Tom McCain is toast. Dylan, hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Dylan, with the radio turned up that you're supposed to have turned off. Yes, sir, the radio's turned off. How you doing, Tom? Doing okay. Long-time listener, first-time caller, really. Long-time uh, listener, first-time caller. <laughs> you roasted me, too. I, I want you to correct me on anything that I'm wrong on, too. I mean... But what I what about hearsay of what I hear that that Obama is a Muslim. Well, uh, I'm going to correct you right now. He's not. He's not. Nope. There's no doubt in your mind he's not. Not only is he not, why would it matter if he was? Well, because I mean, like the whole presidential thing, you get sworn in, but you're putting your hand on the Bible. Every president in this country has been sworn well, in. Well, uh, first Bible. of all, first of all, they don't have to be uh, sworn in with their hand on the Bible, and in fact. Because we have separation of church and state, I don't think they should be sworn in with a hand on a Bible. Yeah, all right, I understand. And I just wanted to. Ask I, you and why do you question. care about the religion? Of, why do you care about what the religion of the president is? Um. Well, I mean, I'm not a highly religious person. I just believe this. I mean, the, the, our our denomination say, "In God we trust." On the back of them again. <laughs> uh, that's not supposed to be there. It was put there uh, for political reasons only. Okay, because I'm an atheist. We don't all trust in God because we don't all believe a God exists. And I I agree with everyone. You know, everyone has their own opinion. And I yes. appreciate you well, enlightening me so on there, everything. Therefore, the, what, the, what it says in the dollar bill is irrelevant. Okay. And I wanted to ask you a question. Uh, do you know if... I'm, I'm a union. I'm a member of the union. I'm a union worker. And is Obama pro-union? My guess is he's pro-union, yes. Probably more so than Bill Clinton. More so than those things? That would be my guess. Okay, Tom, I appreciate talking. You think you could take me out with a bonk hit and a thank you, Jesus? I certainly can. Thank you, Jesus. Travin on the Tom Likas show. Is that Travin or Travin? Travin. Hello. Yes. Hello, yes. Travin. Long time listener, first time caller, man. Thank you. Hey, uh, I just want to know. I know you're voting for um, Barack, but I wanted to know if you if you knew that uh, he was in favor of gay marriage, and if Prop Eight does not pass, then young as um, kindergarten will now be introduced to by books and stuff like that. Uh, that true? that that is not only not true. There is no evidence that it's true. Absolutely. Where is the evidence? I've seen it online. No, no, the evidence. I've seen lots of things online. I saw Perez Hilton say that Fidel Castro was dead. That was online. Was it true? Well, probably not. Right. The fact that you saw something online doesn't make it true. At um, at Proposition 8, that's what they're saying. No. Proposition 8 does not say that, and you haven't read Proposition 8 here in California. The gay marriage. You have not read it. That's what, I, that's what I've read. No, no. You have not read Proposition 8 itself, have you? Absolutely. <laughs> Where does it say that in Proposition 8? I want to know specifically. You're talking about the same-sex marriage. It does, or... Where in Proposition 8 does it say that gay marriage will be taught in kindergarten? Sorry, say it again? You heard what I said, you moron. Uh, I'm not a moron. You, heard, you heard what I said. Now tell me. If you... 
you if you agree with the fact that that could be given to our, our kids. You, again, our, you tell me where in Proposition 8 it says that gay marriage will be taught in kindergarten. I want to know. That's, that's what it's being said. Where in Proposition 8 does it say that? You know what the answer is, you coward? The answer is it doesn't, does it? No, that's what I'm being told also. Uh, who's telling you? Who? Name the people who are telling you. This goes through my church. Ah, there we go. They don't have a vested interest in uh, in Proposition 8, do they? No, they don't have a vested interest. Oh, they don't. Yeah, of course they do. You know, marriage, frankly, I don't even think the government should be uh, involved in the marriage business. I think marriage should be a function of churches, because I don't think anybody should be married un un unless they feel that they're religious and their religion calls for it. I don't think the government ought to be involved in marriage or divorce. Well, I agree Just get that. out of the I business. Agree. But if we're in the marriage business, there is no reason to discriminate against one group over another. Well, my church is telling us, which I've already also read and I went to a conference on The it, fact that, that your church is telling you something doesn't make it true. The information where are they get well, where are they where are they getting that information from specifically? Well, uh, evidently, I don't have it. You don't know. It. That's right, because they're not getting it from anywhere except the Mormons who are behind Proposition Eight. Well, I'll do this. when I find it, I'll send it to you. Right. Well, yeah. Thank you, Sarah Palin, for calling in. I appreciate it. I have to get back to you on that. Gee, Katie, I'll have to get back to you on that. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Angie on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, this is the first time that I'm calling in, and I'm just really frustrated because you say that you want Barack Obama to win. Why and is that frustrating to you? Because you're saying no, I want him to win too. But you're saying that McCain is done, and the yeah, polls he's toast. Are like two points. Uh, I think no, the polls are not two points. It's not true. Well, I'm watching a, them right now. Which I'm polls on, are you watching right now? I'm on CNN. And the CNN poll says what? That he's um, 47 and Barack is 49. I'm looking it up right now. And Wait. I just think people are going to get complacent. I'm looking it up right now. Hang on. No, I know. I'm just telling you what I'm feeling. What you're feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling like you're trying to get people to not go out and vote. Oh, so like, you think I'm actually like a dirty trick? I'm a secret McCain supporter? Maybe. <laughs> I've you been an Obama know, supporter for a long time. Close, you should know how close this is. And it, how it, is it is not, not that. Be, it is not that close anymore. It is. Get on the get on the CNN website and see. I'm on the CNN website right now. Okay, and what is it telling you? I'm, again, darling, I'm doing a radio show and trying to read a website <laughs> at the same time. So I'll tell you what, you just sit there for a while. Play her some intermission music or something, and I'll read the CNN website. Thank you for waiting. Your patience is appreciated. Please hold the line, and we'll be right back with you. for holding. We appreciate your time and patience. Please stay on the line. Thank you for waiting. Your patience is appreciated. Please hold the line and we'll be right back with you. All right, thank you for holding. Uh, the CNN website's uh, poll of polls. This is the poll of polls. Shows Barack Obama with an eight-point lead over McCain. Okay, well, there's... That is, no not, that is not a two-point lead or a three-point lead. That no. is an eight-point lead with Obama with 50% of the vote. Okay, well, that's so not you the are, that... So you are wrong. That, that's what's on the... You just told me to go to the CNN website, and I did, and that's what I say. Okay, I still think that's. I don't care what you think. Eight it, points? Eight points yeah. with less than three weeks to go? Yeah. <sighs> Look where Carrie was. 
again. Not only does he have an eight-point lead uh, with, uh, ten, with 20 days to go, uh, in electoral votes, according to CNN, Obama now has 277 and uh, McCain 174. Okay. Well, nobody wants um, that is not Obama that is not a that is me, not so. that is not a razor thin lead. Okay. All right. Thank you. Ugh. Never mind. Jesus Christ. One eight hundred five. Why haven't I done politics all these years? So I, I didn't have to get calls like that. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Here's Nina on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hi, Daddy. Hi, dear. Well, I'm sitting here with my aunt, and we're huge Brock supporters, but we want to know if we can write you in. Oh, you can write me in. <laughs> uh, can I now? <laughs> I'm going to write myself in, but I'm not going to use ink, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, the plastic. <laughs> No, we think I'm going to write my full name, all three. First, middle, and last. <laughs> you think that <Rosie? laughs> I'm going to need a second page. <laughs> You're hilarious. <laughs> but we just wanted to say we love you, and we think you need to be present for any of these goofballs. Well, thank you for that, Nina. And we absolutely loved what you had to say about um, Bush stuff, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for that, Nina. I appreciate the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Trey on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing okay, Trey. Hey, Tom. You know what? I, I want to know, how come all this media... Now, everybody, how come Sarah Palin was uh, was on TV last week talking about? Yeah, we need the media needs to do their job and find out about Obama's connections. But it's like, what's the, what about Sarah Palin's connections? What about the fact that the only reason she became gover governor of Alaska is because she had the backing of the Alaska Secessionist Group, the group that said they hated America. They would they would never they would piss on an American flag. That type of group. She was just at their rally. She she gave. She she gave a speech to that successionist group in 2004, and earlier this year she did an introduction for him. That's number one. Number two, for the guy who called talking about, is Obama for unions? Heck yes, Obama is for unions. McCain said in, one, in the DNC speech, or the RNC speech, excuse me, that he wanted to eradicate unions. And last night, uh, they, you know, he said with this $5,000 health care plan, he wants to eliminate, Obama said, last night uh that's that's the beginning that the commerce uh commission or something like that said that that's the beginning to uh eradicating employer-based health care you know and uh, we got all these people fighting about their health care what's gonna my, my cousin just cut his finger last week and said that it cost him it was a thirty thousand dollar bill just off a cut finger what do you think about that tom oh and tom by the way i just want to give a shout out to my uh my number one man who's your number one fan my man kev young you know he's he's listening right now i just want to say what's up to him what do you think about that though tom well thirty thousand dollars for a cut finger is a lot of money <laughs> that's a lot of money it's pretty outrageous. But a lot of people go bankrupt because they don't have any health insurance. That, that's absolutely true. There's no doubt about it. Tom Likas. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 8600. The Tom Likas Show. Oh, the Joe the Plumber story is getting better. Coming up. Ten minutes from right now, I'm going to tell you who Joe the Plumber is related to, and it's going to knock you out. That's coming up in about ten minutes from right now. You, <laughs> Even if you go away, even if you tune out, you must come back in about ten minutes to find out who Joe the Plumber is related to. Holy schmagoli. This is amazing stuff. <laughs> Talk about dirty tricks. <laughs> the 
delicious. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Coming up in nine minutes, I'm going to have for you the name of the person Joe the Plumber is related to. And it will knock you out. 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. It's Ryan on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Yeah. Hey, uh, first I just want to say I love your show, man. Uh, you do a good job. Thank you. Um, but I, I always, honestly, I always thought you were a libertarian. Uh, I, I am. Wrong about that. Well, I just don't understand why you would support a Democrat if you're a libertarian. I well, know. because here's the thing. No libertarian will ever be president. I understand, I understand that, ever. of course. That's why. Yeah, but I mean... I'm not voting then, for a loser. But why would you vote for anybody at all if you're not voting for somebody you truly... Because I, I, we, we, it is imperative that we get George Bush out of the White House and anybody who works with George Bush. I, I, I agree with that. But, I mean, that's you, you why, think, and that's the only way to do it. You think voting in a third party is a waste of a vote, then? Complete waste of a vote. So what about... I mean, people argue voting for somebody you don't truly agree with is a waste Again, of a vote as well. Again, it's more important not to make a statement, but to get any remnant of George W. Bush and Dick Cheney out of the White House. Right. I, I, well, I agree with that 100%. That's the but... most important thing to do. And voting for Ralph Nader or Bob Barr or uh, Ron Paul or any of the nutcases uh, who are running who have no chance of winning is just uh, wasting your time and not getting the job done. But another, another thing, too, I mean, we live in California. It's going to go to uh, Barack Obama no matter what. The electoral votes are already given to him. I mean, we live in a democratic state, so why not? Use your vote just to show your opposition. Because it shows nothing. It shows nothing. It, it, because what's it going to show? That point zero six percent of the vote went to Bud. Which one do you choose? Bob Barr, Ralph Nader, or well, Ron Paul? I, I'll probably. I mean, I'm a, I was a Ron Paul supporter, but yeah, you know, I'll well, probably. Yeah. I'll probably go. I'll probably vote Bob Barr. I mean, I, I agree. I want Barack Obama more than McCain, but I mean, it's. I mean, we live in a state where it's not going to really matter who you vote for. The, the electoral votes go to Obama, so. I just see why not show some opposition and go third party. Because you're, you guess no one's going to see it as a opposition. It's when people see how small the number is, it's going to show that there's very few people who feel the way you do. Yeah, I, I understand, but maybe it'll make you feel good inside. It may have the opposite effect. <laughs> yeah, that's, like that's look how few people supported that nutcase, Ron Paul. No, I, well, I, well he, 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 people say he was a nutcase, but a lot of the stuff he said is... It doesn't true, matter. Um, but the point is, it doesn't matter. No, no you, you, you've you got a point. you got a point. All right, I just wanted to run that by you, Tom. Uh, can you take me out, Lisa Peterson? It would be tasteless, Ryan. Ever. Hey. Ever. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, coming up, I have the name of the person Joe the plumber is related to. Uh, this will cinch that it's a dirty trick. I swear to you, this will cinch that it's a dirty trick. This is not a joke. It's not a scam. This just came in, and it's outrageous. Have you seen this yet, Gary? So you know who it is. Yeah. <laughs> wow. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Now we know for sure it's a dirty trick. Now we know. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Lorraine on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you doing? Doing great, Lorraine. Hi. I really love your show, Tom. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I was just calling because um, yesterday when I was watching the debate, I realized right away that that was a uh, that McCain put that um, man there, that Joe the plumber, to so that um, Obama could speak to him. And that's why he used that when he, with the debate. Yes, uh, but but you have no idea how true that is. Because yeah. I have now got the name of the person Joe the Plumber is related to. Oh, you do? Oh, yes. Yes, I have. I have it right here. To. What's that? Who is he related to? It's coming up next. Oh, well. Um, You'll have to be listening when I announce it. I've got okay, it right Tom. here. Okay, Tom. All right. Can I wanted you to um, this is for my husband. I, I wanted you to blow me up with uh, uh, the screaming orgasm in the Mexican. I guess that's. Hi. I'm just really nervous, Tom. Oh, okay. You want me to do this for your husband? Yes. Uh huh. All right. I'll do it for your husband. Here you go. Oh. Oh God. Oh. Yes. 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 
That's a little look into her bedroom there. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello to Jim on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Doing great. Right on, right on. Uh, yeah, I still don't know who I'm voting for. You don't know who you're voting for? Yep. You're one yeah. of the few. Yep. I, uh, I don't know. I just can't see any third viable party, but... Uh, it doesn't help when the uh, news media doesn't help advertise for them. The what? The, the news media don't, doesn't do advertising. <clears throat> I, I haven't heard anything. Like, uh, say, I, okay, I listen to a lot of Fox News. Uh, <laughs> if you call that news media. Well, it's, it's a form of. <laughs> it's, 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 the, the Fox News has an agenda to get John McCain elected. That's their agenda. Well, I, I've heard pretty fair and balanced. No, no, but, that's that's the but, phrase they use, and they, they just like uh, the Nazi party used to say years ago. You know, if you repeat the same lies over and over, eventually uh, people believe it. Uh, and then there you are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty open. I listen to uh, also CNN, but uh, yeah, I just. No, it's, Fox News is not a news organization. It's a TV network with talk shows. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I could understand that. No, it's not just that you can understand it. It's a fact. When you tune in most of the time, you're not seeing news. You're seeing people yelling at each other. That is true. That's that is not news, true. and it's not balanced either. Hmm. I'm not saying it should be balanced. They should do whatever they like. That's true. That's but, you, true. but you'd be stupid to believe that it's fair and balanced. It's it's Republican propaganda. And, and that's fine. I have no problem with there being a Republican network. Uh, that uh, talks about news issues from a Republican point of view. That's fine with me. But yeah. that's what it is. Hmm. There's nothing balanced about it. Yeah, uh, I just thought it was kind of odd that they, you know, they never do any interviews for the Yeah, because party. they got that one cross-eyed uh, guy on there, Alan Combs, who's a liberal, and everybody else is a conservative. How balanced is that? Ooh. Ouch. <laughs> you know it's true. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, 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 like I said, I watch it, so. I know you do. Uh, all right. Well. All right. Yeah. There we go. Never mind. All right. Coming up next, Joe the Plumber. How much of a fraud was he? Wait until you find out who he's related to. Tom Likes. 1-800-5800-TOM. The Tom Likes Show. Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Now, I'm going to read you what I have here. You can connect the dots for yourself if you want to. Here it is. <laughs> Just amazing. Joe the Plumber, referred to on the debate last night. There's a blog online, and as you know, many of the big news stories today begin on a blog, and of course, you also know that you have to take blogs with a grain of salt. But certainly, uh, some of the things I'm seeing in this blog are checking out. Here we go. This is from a blog called Martin Eisenstadt's Blog. And uh, there's some group called the Eisenstadt Group. I don't know if it's a PR firm or what it is. But it says here, John McCain did great in the debate, but every time John mentioned Joe the Plumber, some of us in the campaign banged our heads against the wall. If Steve Schmidt had any hair left, I don't know who Steve Schmidt is, I hear he would have been pulling it out tonight. He reportedly screamed at John's debate prep team tonight. Out of earshot of reporters, of course, you idiots. He's related to Charlie Keating of the Keating Five scandal. They thought they had a real live Joe six-pack who spurned Barack Obama's tax plan, but what they forgot to do was check out Joe Wurzelbacher's background. Is what I just said. Turns out, says the blog, that Joe Wurzelbacher from the Toledo event is a close relative of Robert Wurzelbacher of Milford, Ohio. Who's Robert Wurzelbacher? Only Charles Keating's son-in-law. 
and the former senior vice president of American Continental Corporation, the parent company of the infamous Lincoln Savings and Loan of the Keating Five scandal. And, of course, John McCain was one of the Keating Five. That's a fact. Says here, the now-retired Elder Wurzelbacher is also a major contributor to Republican causes, giving well over $10,000 in the last few years. And then you go uh, to the uh, political uh, donors list uh, for Milford, Ohio, and there's uh, Robert Wurzelbacher. Yes. Contributions to the National Republican Congressional Committee. The Ohio Republican Party, the Republican National Committee, the National Republican Senatorial Committee, uh, and uh, it goes on and on. Elizabeth Dole's campaign, campaigns of people, uh, uh, Republicans running for Senate in other states other than Ohio. It goes on and on and on. That's a long list of contributions. Thousands and thousands of dollars. Now, uh, I do not see the actual birth certificates on any of these people, so I do not see the relationship. I do not see yet uh, the actual evidence that these two are blood relatives. All I will say is the name Wurzelbacher is not that common a name. And here it is, Milford, Ohio. It's amazing that Joe the Plumber happens to be in Ohio. So can you imagine how Joe the Plumber... Related to Charlie Keating <laughs> of the Keating Five scandal that McCain was involved in. Holy cow. So take it for what it's worth. It's on this, uh, it's on this blog that we're looking at here. And, uh, it's blowing me away. You go to the New York Times, uh, link that, uh, you find on this blog. And, uh, there it is. That's here, Mr. Keating Sunlow with Robert Wurzelbacher, a senior vice president of American Continental. Okay. 1 800 5 800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Here comes Antonio on the Tom Likas show. Hey, what's up, Dad? Not much, son. Okay, well, uh, there's a couple issues I want to talk to you about. They'll be uh, quick issues, but uh, for one, uh, well, for one, how desperate is the Republican Party getting if they're trying to hire actors now or <laughs> people to uh, disguise what's going on uh, in order to win votes? I mean, McCain is so desperate, seriously. Well, that's, uh, but again, well, I predicted this uh, myself on the air, having past knowledge of John McCain, that if McCain is still behind the last few weeks of the campaign, we're going to start seeing dirty tricks, and here they are. Yeah, exactly. And you know what else also, um, which is what kind of scares me, Tom, is that you see the news and you see these rallies with McCain and uh, Sarah Palin and their their rallies. People are screaming out, terrorist, terrorist, uh, when, you know, of course, referring to Barack Obama um, after, you know, Palin is lying and saying he pals around with terrorists. And then you see people screaming, kill him, kill him. It's kind of scary because you kind of feel that Palin and McCain are feeding this animosity towards Barack Obama. I mean, I'm kind of, it scares me. I mean, I want Barack to win, I mean, badly, but it's like, I'm kind of worried about him cause just for the simple fact that people are stupid out there. And, and, and why does that make you scared? Well, because because I I don't want, honestly I don't want anything to happen to him and it's like you know there's a lot of dumb people out there I mean especially the Republican Party they love to use fear uh, to brainwash people I mean they love to use fear to gain votes to to grab votes I mean they like the caller you had earlier the guy was convinced that Obama was a Muslim and he had no facts to support himself just people uh, need to educate themselves better um, about that. Well, uh, I, I, again, I think that uh, people need to educate themselves in a variety of ways. What I'm happy to see is how many millions of people are watching these debates and are now actually paying attention. It's been years since it's been like that. Daniel on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, hello. Hey. Hey, I'm calling from Biloxi. Apparently, y'all didn't know you had a station in Biloxi. <laughs> we just found out for the first time. Actually, it's in uh, Georgia, uh, WTNI uh, AM 1640. We didn't know about it till right now. Okay. Yeah, um, I was calling because I just happened to listen to the station because y'all come on right after Sean Hannity. Yeah. 
And um, anyways, uh, I have a little issue with the uh, the media bias thing because every time I listen to Fox, I hear both sides on and many things when they're doing the news. I agree with you. There's a whole lot of commentary, um, I, and that's usually in the evening. But throughout the day, they don't just sit there and run around and do their little thing and do commentary. They put out the news, and sometimes I don't even like some of the stuff. But you know, for me, when I look at all the other channels, when I'm going through them, all I see is ABC, CBS, NBC, CNN, and all those other ones, like when they had The View, and they had uh, what one one conservative woman on there ganged up by all the rest of them, and they, they pretty much, I don't know if I'll get in trouble for saying this, but we'll just say pleasure Obama when he was on there, and then castigate McCain when he comes on there, and don't even give him a chance to breathe. When you have, uh, when you had, let's say, the so-called weapons of mass destruction, nobody wanted to admit that they actually found them, so they just changed the words from "we haven't found them" to "we haven't found stockpiles of them." I mean, well, what is I'd... like what six tons of yellow cake uranium? What is the centrifuges? What is well, you uh, you have your own president who has said that there were never any weapons of mass destruction found. He said. It. No, the news the news came out and started changing it because they did find all the other stuff, sarin gas is a weapon of mass destruction. Mustard gas is a weapon of mass destruction. People just focus on nuclear stuff. I'm not just picking on just that. But when you sit there and look at it, like they even did the so-called Joe the Plumber thing, it was real simple. Uh, I think Katie Kirk did the thing, and right whenever he started explaining, oh, sorry, we're going to have to go to the Internet, and we'll put you through there. We have no longer time. So right whenever he's starting to get to the meat of the point, whatever, it doesn't matter his relation, because you could sit there and look at did Mr. He, Obama. Did, 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 did he mention Joe the Plumber's possible relationship to Charlie Keating of the Keating Five? And honestly, I could really care less. You could you know, care I less. Mean, this guy was able to get through so all So let me understand, Charlie, Ke Charlie Keating, who owned Lincoln Savings and Loan, one of the many uh, savings and loans uh, that got into all kinds of trouble back in the 80s, and McCain was a big supporter of Charlie Keating. What about Obama? Who no, actually, no, 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 wait, uh, we'll get to Obama. I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle. Uh, no, what? No. <laughs> You're not going to yell at This is not the Fox News channel. We're not doing it that way. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Coming up next, it's Like is 101. If you've got questions for your professors, start dialing now because we're jumping right in after this very short break at 1-800-5800-TOM. The Tom Likas Show.